Welcome everybody to this series Quick Math Stuff. In this fifth episode, we will describe an elementary method to find an optimal constant C such that the inequality, this inequality, is verified for all x on the open interval zero pair. So please take few moments to, and try to solve this relevant inequality. Right, this subject, let's start by an inequality of the same type. Sine x over x is less than 1 minus x squared over pi squared. For all x in the open interval 0 pi over 2. To do this, one can use elementary calculus by letting the function, we multiply here, and by letting the function phi x equals sine x minus x plus x cubed over p pi squared. Now the derivative, the first derivative is cosine minus 1 plus 3 x squared over pi squared. And second derivative will be minus sine x plus 6 x over pi squared. Now, take a few moments, please, to prove the inequality from here. Here one can think to use the following inequality. So the well-known inequality, 2 over, 2 over pi x for all x, 0 pi over 2. Its proof is easy. For example, graphically, we see that sine pi over 2 and here 1. This straight line has four equations 2 over pi x and by the concavity of the function sine we deduce the inequality. That's all. It's Jordan inequality. Now, observe that Observe that 2 over pi x is greater than 6 over pi squared times x. An explanation is due to the fact that 3 over pi is less than 1, which leads to 6 over pi squared is less than 2 over pi. We conclude that, we conclude that, here, sine x, we conclude that phi 2 prime is negative. So, the phi prime is decreasing and its sign is negative. So, on combining all this, we find that phi is also dec decreasing and which completes the proof of the, our first inequality. To do our inequality, the first step will be to solve this inequality for the constant c. So, we have c sine x plus x squared sine x is greater than c x minus x cubed. So, we obtain x squared sine x plus x cubed is greater than c x minus sine x but this number is positive in the interval 0 pi over 2 so we obtain the following for x squared times x plus sine x over x minus sine x greater than c. Now we have to study this function here and prove and find the optimal constant 
in a convenient way. By a careful computation of the derivative of this function, you will find the following expression 2x over x minus sine x squared and here x squared minus x sine x minus sine squared x plus x squared cosine x please do this computation carefully to find the exact expression now because that term that term is positive because x belongs to 0 pi this is positive so the sine of t prime depend only on the sine of the of this expression we will denote it by the x now the x we have to find its sign observe first that we can to write it in the following form we factor in by x squared here and here minus sine x times x plus sine x now an interesting step is to factor in here this quantity by trigonometric formula this term is 2 cosine square x over 2 and here so I will find sine x we factor by sine x and here I will find x square cotangent x over 2 minus x plus sine x and observe another time that this term is positive in last we have to prove or to find the sign of this expression take please few moments to explore the sign of the last expression conclude let's find the sign of the following expression so we have to calculate its derivative always carefully we will have time 2x cotangent x over 2 minus 1 over 2x squared 1 plus cotangent squared x over 2 minus 1 minus cosine x now to short to, to, to obtain a short expression we will have here 2x cosine over 2 sine x over 2 and here minus x squared over 2 sine squared x over 2 and here minus 2 cosine squared x over 2 and finally we will have time by factoring but by the same common denominator I have time here 2x sine x and here minus x square and here minus sine square x and now you see that this expression is negative because it's because that this is minus sine x minus x exact minus x all square you see here you have not assigned in conclusion this derivative is negative and so this prove that our function phi is decreasing the final result we have to search the optimal constant and we, we, we have proved that phi is decreasing on 0 pi 
So we have five x is will be greater than limit of five x when x tend to pi. When we calculate this limit, we'll find that it's equals pi squared. Conclusion: the convenient constant is c equals pi squared, and our inequality will be has the following form: pi squared minus x squared pi squared plus x squared for all x for all x on zero pi but more more one can by substituting x equals pi plus t f x is greater than pi you will found also that inequality is still true for every x on l this famous inequality has has been proved by the mathematician red heifer red heifer around 1969 thank you for watching and see you to the next video